you can push yourself a little bit, yeah, in between your core, you keep it here. What's up you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for the love and the support, I really, really appreciate it. Welcome to the first episode of Morning Workouts. Today, we are going to do a full session of a full body workout. So before we get started, why don't you go along and get your cup of tea, sip along with me, and then we can get talking about the basics of stretching. Okay, so most of you already know that I start all my workouts and I end all my workouts with a full body stretch. I believe that stretching is very, very important and that's why my first episode of the morning workouts is going to start with stretching. So, stretching improves your blood circulation. Stretching, it prevents injuries. It improves your range of motion. And it just prevents a lot of pain after a very, very hard and tedious workout. I know that sometimes we go to the gym, we work out, and then the following day we're so sore, we can't even move, we can't lift up anything, and it's because we didn't stretch enough. So stretching is very, very important, and we're gonna start with the very, very basics. And I want everybody to follow along so that you can have a basic idea of what I start with and what I end with. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I like to start off with basic, the very basic, which is inhaling and exhaling. And it helps me to focus myself, it helps me to realize where I am, and you can call it a little meditation, but for me generally it just helps me to be centered and know where I am. So what you want to do, you want to place your palms right on your knees, like this. You close your eyes, and then you take a deep breath. You hold it for about five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, and then you breathe out. Breathe in again. Then you breathe out. And then the last one. All right, great job. So let's get into the first position. You wanna lie on your back and arms completely stretched out over your head. Make sure you don't have an arch behind your back and make sure you completely lie flat on your back, okay? And what you wanna do, you wanna try and reach as far above as you can with your fingers and as far below as you can with your toes, kind of like stretching yourself up. And while you're doing so, you wanna take a deep breath as well. So you let's go. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, breathe in, breathe out. Here you can do as many as you like. This for me is so helpful because when I'm bloated, when I'm on my monthly and I don't wanna eat, my stomach is upset, I come and I literally lie in this position and I breathe in and I hold it so tight. I literally tighten my core and then I breathe out and I relax and I can feel my abdomen contracting and releasing, contracting and releasing. And what that does for me, it helps with my monthly pain, it helps me get rid of bloating, it helps me just relax and know that I am in the center of where I'm supposed to be. Alright ladies, let's get into the next position. Lovies, you have to bear with me, I don't know all the yoga poses, but I will try and explain to them as much as I can so that you guys can stretch along with me. So this one, next up, I call the froggy set. I don't know what it's called, but I call it the froggy set. So what you wanna do, you wanna cross your leg, okay? But instead of crossing it completely, you put them together like so. And you try to bring them in as close as possible, yeah? And while you're there, you hold your feet and you arch your back to be straight. And what you need to do, you flare your knees up and down, like I'm doing so. Keep flaring them up and down, keep flaring them up and down. If this is not possible for you, what you can do, you can come this far, right? Or you can straighten your leg out, keep this leg in, and just keep pressing down, all right? You keep pressing down this side. Or what you can do, you can put both feet together, and you can just keep slightly pushing down. Remember, Keep your back straight and keep pushing slightly down. Slightly, slightly. On the other side as a beginner. 
slightly or this side and just keep pushing down slightly what this does it literally releases the tension here in the pelvis i know everybody has experienced this most of the time when you start to squat you feel a sharp pain here maybe it might not even be a pain maybe it might just be tension you squat and you feel like oh it's really so this really helps loosen the tension here in the pelvic region so just keep doing this you count 10 reps one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if you have a partner your partner can literally push down for you and you can be breathing in and out as you release the tension if you don't have a partner however you can always put a book on the side or a book on the side and just arc your back and relax trust me you will feel that tension loosening up and as you are in this position you want to put your hand behind now what you're going to do you want to turn in the opposite direction and hold it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bring it up and back opposite direction and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now what you want to be doing after that is just to lean a little bit forward and see if the tension is still tight or it's loose if you feel that you're still a little bit tight repeat the whole exercise you start in the front foot you massage a little bit down you turn this side you turn this side and until the tension is released you should do it between one to two minutes all right next up we want to stretch still the pelvic muscles but this is now what i call the runner's stretch like i said love it i don't know most of these yoga stretches so i'm just going to name them whatever comes to my mind what you want to do you want to take your dominant foot and place it in front of you now yeah? what you want to do is lean forward touch down and then basically just lean forward you lean in to stretch right here this pelvic muscle so you're just leaning in right there that's good and you keep it hold for 20 seconds you switch with the opposite leg forward lean in and then you stretch Woo! i can really feel the tension loosening up that was really good guys well done next up what i like to do i like to call it the doggy stretch i don't know what it's called but we shall call it the doggy stretch what you want to do is you get on all four you're right here so this is the starting position and what you want to do you want to spread your knees out like so and slowly move backwards like that until you almost touch your feet and when you're here you want to put your head down and just keep it there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and the reverse for it you want to lean forward put your feet together and drop your pelvis like so and tilt your head up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten back into doggy position again like so and there what that does it releases all the tension in your back all the tension in the in your quads all the tension in your neck running down the spine and sometimes all the tension you can feel it in your arms so this is a really really good aesthetic instead of the froggy you can even start with this doggy stretch as i call it <laughs> so last one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten great job guys i call this next stretch the half split because you are going to attempt to split but you're doing a half split okay i'm gonna run you through it and we're gonna go step by step so what you want to do you want to take your most prominent leg right in this case i'm gonna start with the right foot so what you need to do you put the prominent leg forward like so okay and then what you want to do you want to push down push down push down until you try to sit if you can't sit and you feel like the tension is too much it's too painful just keep it there breathe in breathe out relax your muscles the last thing you want to do is tighten your muscles okay if you're in this position and it's a little bit painful just relax your muscles you will feel the tension releasing slowly but surely but if you are advanced stretcher you might as well just go ahead and sit down bring it up here and breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out okay let's try the other leg 
You put it forward, you cross it, like so. You push out, push out, push out, and boom. Yeah? With 10. Woo! Guys, I can literally feel my muscles loosening up right here, right there. You know, when you do those leg extensions, especially when your toes are outwards and you're working on this muscle, that's the stretch that is so important, okay? We do the last one. Push back, push back. Okay, and let's just hold it in the beginner stage and we're holding one, keep breathing, two, three, four, woo, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Well done. And then you do the other leg, you can do between three or four sets. 10 to 20 reps, it's all up to you. When you really feel like your muscles are loose and there's no more tension, that's the time when you can stop, all right? Yes. This next one, I like to call the gymnastic stretch because it's really, really advanced and it helps me personally with stretching so many muscles at once. I'll show you the beginner stage, I'll show you the moderate stage, and then I'll show you the advanced stage. It's really, really advanced, but I'm sure that you guys, with a few practices, you can get it right. So let's get right into it. What you want to do is lie on your back. Okay? Get as comfortable as possible. Alright? So what you need to do, so you're up here, you're holding, down, and push yourself up. Alright, if you're a beginner, you can just hold it right here. If you cannot get that far, then this is more than enough. This right here is more than enough. And what you can do is lift up this leg and forward. And up. Lift up this leg, up, and up. And then that will give you momentum to drive up. So let's start again. Up, down, and we're here. This will help you to support yourself. So what I like to do here, I like to bend my knees like so, okay? And then I'll turn it outwards and inwards. And to the right and to the left. And to go a little bit further, you open up, you touch the floor like this, okay? Put your leg down and then you start breathing. Nine, ten. Together, knees tuck in, roll down and relax. Okay, let's go. Last one. Position yourself and down and push and up. Nice. Tucking your knees and out and to the left and to the right and to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. You, still, you feel like you're doing Russian twist here, hey? but we can call it the reverse Russian twist. To the left, to the right, and you slowly open up. You touch the floor, hands down, and one if you can you can push yourself a little bit yeah if it's too difficult you keep it here bring it up feet together knees in roll up touch the floor and that's it the last stretch i call the bend over bridge i really don't know the names of these stretches so i personally call it the bend over bridge this comes from childhood and i've carried it with me all along and I like to do it because not only does it give me a feeling of being in control, a feeling that I'm flexible, but I literally know that all my muscles are being stretched out in one movement. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you the beginning stage, the intermediate stage, and then the advanced, of course. What you want to do, yeah, is lie on your back. And with your hands, yeah, with your hands, you put them right here behind your head on your shoulder behind your head just like so you don't want to put them like this you want to put them in front of you and as they are in front of you as they are in front of you like this as your palm is in front of you like this you just take it backwards and you put it there boom same side palms facing upwards you just turn it upwards like this and boom and what you want to do you want to get comfortable on the floor so for me this is pretty much I'm comfortable here. This is my comfort zone. And what you need to do, you try and push yourself up like so. If you can't get here, what you can do, if you are here, just try 
and lift yourself up. That's it. Every day, you make small step, progressive small step. If you cannot do the complete bridge in one go, literally put your hands there and try to lift yourself up every day. Lift every day. And then on certain days, you lift and you try to push yourself up while your head is balancing you, okay? So lift yourself up, lift up your feet, and you're on your head. That is the beginner stage. Every day, you do small step, and finally, when you are confident, you can get here, and boom, okay? So what I like to do, I like to add a little bit of twist. I like to be on my toes, down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you got head first, then your glute to your heels, slide yourself down, and boom, we are back in starting position. Okay? Just take a deep breath, and you breathe out, breathe in, and you breathe out. Good job guys, well done. By this point, you should be completely out of breath, <laughs> but your muscles are relaxed. There's no more tension, especially in the pelvic area, in your back, in your shoulders, in your arms, in your neck, because we're twisting and turning. But to finish off everything, I like to breathe in again and breathe out just for relaxation. So what you wanna do, place your palms on your knees like so and then you breathe in and then you breathe out you breathe in and you breathe out and while you're doing so since it's morning time you can be sipping on a tea or a glass of water mm -hmm. And then you breathe in again. You breathe out. I feel so relaxed, so in tune, so at peace. It's absolutely amazing. And you breathe in. Breathe out. You can do as many as you like, as many as you like. There is no limit here. Whatever you prefer, whatever works for you, definitely is the right way to go so that was all the stretches we had for the day definitely do check out this video of how i transform my body in a whole year or check out this video my workout with d mango and until the further next time it's goodbye ninjas <laughs>